scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I don't know what hospital is in Garki, but I'm seeing someone in a hospital there and the power of God is touching that person right now. Garki, a hospital there. In the name that is above all names let there be a miracle for you right now let there be a miracle for you right now i'm seeing a woman sit on a chair and holding a child this child should be about maybe four or five years he has autism autism this is what is wrong with that child this is a woman from united kingdom you are sitting with your child he has autism let the power of god touch that child now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you are having problems with your knee your knee particularly your kneecap you're not able to bend this way not without pain the power of God is touching you right now the Lord is showing me a lady you had a dream in that dream you saw yourself breastfeeding a baby from the time you woke up you've been having excruciating pain particularly the right side of your breast i cause that spirit right now i cause that spirit right now lumbar spondylosis be healed peptic ulcer be healed migraine headaches be healed i say it again migraine headaches be healed i command cancer to die sugar diabetes be healed pile the Lord is healing someone from pile, painful pile. Be healed in Jesus' name. I'm seeing somebody having recurrent malaria. Recurrent. It keeps coming. You treat it. It comes. You treat it. I command that spirit to give way now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone having your heart is not palpitating but you are having breathing problems if you lie down in a room you know how an asthma patient is you don't have asthma but this thing affects your breathing i'm seeing sometimes you stand close to the window so you are able to breathe enough air i want to pray for you anything wrong with your veins and your arteries that the devil is programming death no matter what it is called i curse it now by the god of heaven in the name of Jesus heart palpitations be healed lupus be healed rheumatoid arthritis be healed in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me a man I'm seeing a man sitting you are beginning to have the initial stages of prostate cancer in the name that is above all names wherever you are whether you are here or following online by the God that we serve we call prostate by its name and we cause cancer by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus the Lord is ministering to me there is a lady you're not you're not you don't have a child but you are lactating you're lactating you don't have a child this is something you've gone to the hospital for in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, let that satanic occurrence come to an end now. Memory loss. I'm hearing memory loss. Memory loss. 
you forget things this is beginning to affect you in your place of work in the name of Jesus I speak to you you have the mind of Christ you have the mind of Christ you have the mind of Christ the Lord is asking me to speak over someone I'm ministering healing but every time something good is about to happen you go to bed and you have a dream some person will come to molest you and the moment you wake up whether it's a job or some opportunity it just leaves in the name of Jesus the son of the living God we sever you from the influence of those spirits in the name of Jesus Christ there is a couple the Lord is asking me to minister to the problem affecting fertility is the man this is a problem that is common to men and yours is an acute problem you need a miracle this is not something drugs or supplement can correct you are not able to get your wife pregnant I want you to believe that the power of God is in this place God who quickened the body of Abraham that Isaac came even by natural means let that power that raised Christ from the dead quicken your mortal body now quicken your mortal body now quicken your mortal body now I'm hearing a name Zuera this is a name that I'm hearing Zuera this should be another name in the name of Jesus I pray for that person whether here or online every infirmity I'm saying this is something that has to do with your heart by the power that raised Christ from the dead I bring you life and healing life and healing life and healing life and healing there is a woman God is asking me to pray for we're wrapping up um, although this woman is on the big side it is not because of her weight that she's having mobility problems I'm seeing that there is a problem just right here I'm literally feeling the pain from here I'm not a medical doctor I might not be able to give it all the explanation needed but in the name of Jesus that pain at your right side is affecting mama's mobility as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ we cause that pain now we cause that pain now we cause that pain now hearing problems be healed now speech problems be healed now I feel set up in my heart to just speak this is not word of knowledge but it's just out of an information I know particularly around Europe the case of mental health and autism these two cases is plaguing children particularly in their teenage we stand in faith right from here we are speaking to the nations but particularly we release our faith over the children in Europe from Nigeria to Europe extending to Canada America this plague this spirit of mental health destroying people at their productive years we call it by name and we curse it by the God of heaven we curse it by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ can I declare favor over you truly there is a grace called favor I want you to convince yourself that there is such a grace and it can rest upon a man it brings systems and structure under pressure and compels men to treat you with benevolence with kindness there are three biblical indices to measure the presence of favor number one unusual kindness when the grace for favor is on you men related and unrelated they are compelled by this grace to show you unusual kindness number two is unusual acceptance acceptance beyond the prejudices of tribe race gender this is what happens when you receive the grace for favor number three is unusual access access this is how you know that the favor of God has rested upon you the Bible says watch this now it says in Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the B part says and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 says and the king loved Esther more than all the virgins he now placed a royal apparel upon her head 
and made her queen instead of Vashti. Exodus 3.21 And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Psalms 44 and verse 3 They got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their arms save them. But thou, O Lord, and thy right hand, the light of your countenance because thou hast a favor towards them i pray for you standing in partnership with the grace upon the angel in this house i decree and declare from the transforming church to all those who are connected i stand as a privileged steward of this grace in the name that is above all names let this grace for favor let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now unusual access let it rest upon you from the depth of my spirit i release that grace upon you let it work wonders in your life favor in your career favor in ministry favor in business favor in family even pharaoh must favor you help that woman in the name of jesus hear me by this prayer every door that has been closed over your life i stand upon the grace of the man of god and i speak to that door a father be open a father be open a father be open 2024 hear the word of the lord be open now When Jesus was born, even as a baby, with no ability to help himself, that grace spoke, and the Magi, right from where they were, the Bible says these were adults, and they carried gifts of gold, of frankincense and myrrh, they were taking it to a baby, not an adult, I'm praying for you again, this is an advantage we have in the kingdom, may favor rest upon you. And let it begin to speak from this night in the name of Jesus favor that brings establishment favor that connects you to strategic men in the name of Jesus ministers of the gospel let favor bring helpers for you helpers of the war in the name of Jesus Christ this year I forbid you from being alone I forbid you from crying alone in the name of Jesus the grace that helped Hagar in the desert Hagar was crying together with her baby and when God spoke to her she looked and saw an oasis springing forth I declare the oasis that must spring from your desert let it begin now can we pray I'm going to request, um, since we're praying on it together, is that fine, Reverend Sam? Okay, please, let me request the ushers. Please bring the prayer requests and then, please bring it. Can you guys pour it here? Can you bring them all here? Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, Rest on me, rest on me, oh, rest on me, oh, rest on me, oh, rest on me, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper. Rest on me, rest on me. Hallelujah. We are going to pray on this by the grace of God. And I remember doing this last year. And I'm still going to request again. I know this is the transforming church, but please allow me to request particularly for Reverend Sam to make declarations that grace for influence many of you do not know that penetrating cultures and systems comes with a grace no matter how gifted you are 
our world is bound by tribal ethno-cultural prejudices it takes a grace many times beyond your gift to give you visibility and access beyond the shores of the territory wherein you are domiciled are we together yes the things that you are going to be receiving is from the abundance of the grace and the mercy of God there are many of you here who run corporations but you've not been able to break into certain circles it is not by might it is not by power I have seen many gifted people worship ministers several people I've seen men and women of God sincere with character integrity sound in scripture but the capacity to break beyond the barrier there is an embargo it's a territorial embargo it forces men to look like the spirit of the city it takes grace to lift people and to give you a flight beyond your limitation i have seen people today that in in all honesty reverend sam sometimes i wonder why are you at this level and these are not people maybe you know they are prepared I hope that one of the graces that we're going to be praying for right now is the grace for visibility the Bible says neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel there are many of you right now you are gifted but you are with the wrong audience the people around you do not have the discernment to appreciate what you carry nor the capacity to reward what you carry you need to be translocated by the Spirit to an environment where they have an appreciation for what you carry it is very insulting and frustrating to be gifted and be around the wrong audience they will not place value on what you carry this is what honor is about honor compels men to perceive you correctly as touching your value and to reward you to match the extent of your sacrifice reverend sam <laughs> praise the name of the lord do you believe in the power of agreement yeah. we're going to kneel and pray and i want no 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 you don't have to kneel who will do the kneeling for you yours is to receive don't let any spirit distract you these are the kinds of prophetic moments where people's destinies change and this is where satan steals into people's focus and then fools them to be looking around and then they miss their day of opportunity jacob said the lord was in this place and I knew not. Begin to pray in the spirit. Reverend Samson. in Jesus name amen I'd like you to just place your right hand on your head as you pray right now and let me say this the first person to ever walk up to me I say Reverend Sam there's a grace for cross-cultural influence on you was Pastor Kunle Shorinyo the second person was Apostle Selman recognizing that grace God has been so merciful we can't even share things in the public the Bible say he is the one that bust your confinements from today whatsoever is the reason for your confinement it is over I say the Lord bust your confinements servant of God the Lord bust your confinements inside and outside the Lord bust your confinements single lady single man the Lord bust your confinements I decree and declare from today your branches will begin to spread over the walls 
you are uncontainable from today you are unstoppable from today you are irresistible from today you begin to spread out you begin to move out you begin to advance begin to advance break barriers break limitations break obstacle move higher move forward advance progress flourish thrive locally and internationally go to the nations go to the nations your doors are open your gates are open your gates are open in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen to me please listen the greatest way and the most potent way to transfer graces is through words hallelujah words he said if you had known of the dispensation of the oh, grace that yes, was given Lord, unto yes. me for you word given to me for you I want to release the grace for visibility listen to me Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 my God the Bible says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all that I command you this day it says that you shall be exalted above all not some all the nations of the earth from tonight like a candle that has been lit I forbid you from remaining small yes. I forbid you from remaining small may that grace for visibility rest upon you access to the nations of the earth access to the hearts of kings in the name of Jesus right. hallelujah when Saul met with Samuel yes. three things happened Samuel said is it not because the Lord has anointed yes. you to be a captain over his inheritance I pray for you the anointing that makes you a captain the Bible calls it an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows may that grace rest upon you now and Samuel told Saul he said as you return the first thing is restoration that the donkey that has been missing would have been back home yeah. we prophesy that everything you have lost in 2023 we decree and declare let it be a balance brought forward for you yes in the mighty name of jesus i speak restoration yes i speak restoration yes. i speak restoration yes. number two he said you will meet with three men uh, yeah, yeah. each of them holding two loaves yes, sir. they will salute you and they will give, they will to, you. give to you and he says of them receive yes where are your helpers of hey! destiny we decree and declare yes, from january to december 2024 Shabbat enjoy the ministry Shabbat of Shabbat destiny helpers yes enjoy the ministry of destiny yes! helpers number three it says you will come to the garrison of the philistines and that the spirit of god will come upon you and you will begin to prophesy yes. i pray for you yes. the unction that turns you to another man hey. another man in hey. business another man in ministry yes, another man in worship yes. another man in family another life man. let that grace rest upon you yes the grace that makes Abraham Abraham hey! the grace that makes Sarai Sarah the grace that makes Sipha Peter the grace that makes Jacob Israel the grace to become another man receive it in Jesus name yes! my God can I request before we pray on the request here yes. can you stretch your hands towards us the Bible says that God will bless the works of your hands. Ah. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. Listen, Job said in the days of my youth, ah. when his light, his candle was upon my tabernacle, yes. you see, there were two kinds of light that Job had. 
one upon his head and another upon his path yes. the one on his head was for illumination the one on his path was for direction and the benefit of the light upon his head was seen in the works of his hands i want to pray for you ah. in the name of jesus yes. we release our faith yes. nothing dies in your hands nothing, nothing. nothing dies in your hands nothing nothing dies in your hands yes. let blessing meet blessing on your hands hey. may the lord make your hands strong yes may the lord prosper the works of your yes. hands in the name of jesus hey. Stretch your hands in this direction, Father. I lift up this request before you. And we ask that you who answers prayer will answer every prayer here. Grant your children their heart's desires. Amen. Let the sick be healed. Amen. Let your doors be open. Return with testimonies of liftings. Your promotion comes early. Your visa granted early. Your project is finished early. The land enters your hands. What you've been waiting for, receive. Your request is granted. Your request is granted. Your joy coming now. Your doors are open. Your favor is granted. Rise to the next level. Rise to the next level. Enter your next dimension. Be supernaturally married. I decree increase on every side. Multiplication. No more delays. No more delays. No more affliction. No more reproach. It is done. Hallelujah. Please allow me to release one more grace before we are done. The greatest investment of the Spirit upon my life is the grace for encounters. My God. The Bible says, blessed is the man that God causes to approach him. You see, if all we receive are just things, we did not receive much. There is a grace that compels men. You see, hunger is a gift. Ah. Hunger is proof of health. You're about to receive something very heavy right now. The first thing that happens when a, an individual is sick is the loss of appetite. You use the loss of appetite as a layman's way of diagnosing the presence of sickness. That means when you lose spiritual hunger, it's a sign that something is wrong. And there are people because of the vicissitudes of life, because of the, the challenges, the wear and tear of life, many here have lost their passion. Passion for the things of God, passion for prayer, passion for fasting, passion for the word. They've lost touch with consecration. They've lost touch with all that makes men mighty. We stand in agreement and we pray for you. In the name that is above all names. Yes, Lord. Yes. Fire from heaven. Hey. That reignites your prayer life. Yes. Fire from heaven. Fire. That reignites your word study yes. life. Fire from heaven. Yes. That reignites your passion yes. for God. Receive it now. Hey. Receive it now. Hey. Receive hunger. Yes. Hunger for oh, church. Yes. Hunger for God. Hey. Hunger for the things of God. Hey. Hunger for the study of hey. the word. Hunger for prayer. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. That regardless the level you have attained in the spirit. Yes, Lord. I plant in you from tonight. A holy dissatisfaction. Hey. Ah, let it drive you to fast. Hey. Let it drive you to pray. Let it drive you to fast. Hey. Let it drive you to pray. Hey. Let it drive you to fast. Hey. Let it drive you to pray. Hey. Let it drive you to study. Hey. Let it drive you to give. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. 
If Reverend Sam will lend me one more minute, yes. I want to cause mm. the spirit of greed and connection to material things. This may look like an unnecessary prayer, but listen carefully. There are many who do not have because God knows that if he gives them, it will have oh them. Oh my God. Are we together? Yes. My God. God fights everything that takes his place, even if he's the one who gave you. Materialism is not having materials. Materialism is getting to a point where you exalt materials to be the God in your life. Replacing the position of the Christ. And this is the tragedy of many believers. Ministry can become an idol. Hey. Yes, sir. Preaching can become an idol. Business can become an idol. Nothing in itself destroys until it is connected to a heart condition that exalts it above God. I want to pray. By this prayer, a circumcision will happen to someone. Listen, there are many of you, God wants to prosper you. He wants to open doors. But you see, the hindrance to your becoming and to your entering the next level is not necessarily demonic. Is that there is a heart condition God wants to prepare. So that when the billions and the millions come, when the exaltation and the increase comes, you will remember the Lord your God. That's what he told the people. I pray for you every mundane connection to things that has made you exalt money position titles above and beyond the christ we dethrone it now we dethrone it now we dethrone it now every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome finally i declare before i let reverend sam continue by this time next year gilgal 2025 except if you don't plan to be alive but for as long as you plan to be alive, I prophesy to you, return 10 times better. Return 10 times better. Spiritually, financially, yes. career-wise, yes. the 10 times better anointing, yes. let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Give Jesus a big hand of... Right. Hallelujah. Reverend Sam has given me the permission of a minute or two before I allow him continue to do an altar call. I really believe in salvation. And I want to give someone an opportunity right now to make Jesus. Please, let's keep standing. I know that we've, we've been standing for a while. Let's just honor those who are coming. Um, there's no point cajoling. You need Jesus. You need him now. You need him fast. Hallelujah. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have life everlasting, life eternal. There has to be someone here. You're outside. You're in this auditorium. And for the many following online, you're saying, Apostle, Reverend Sam, if you will give me an opportunity, I truly want to make it right with Jesus. And then I'm also calling on those who are saying, I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. I have entered into this new year. I do not want it to remain as last year or the years before. I truly want to make a sincere, unashamed decision to follow Jesus. Wherever you are, I'll count one to five. I want you to leave your seat, run and come and stand right in front of us here. Do not wait for anyone to be the first. Win that war finally. I begin my counting. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. Two. Young and old, male and female, come. You're outside, please come. Allow those who are coming, if they are coming for the altar call. Come. Let's celebrate them. Don't be tired of clapping. Three. When I count five, we begin the prayer. For someone who 
is making this decision by way of television you're following online i want you to participate in the prayer congratulations for your desire to make jesus lord of your life and perhaps you are seated and you're saying apostle i want to come but i'm ashamed afraid of my friend afraid of those seated around me i like you to leave them and come this is the business between you and jesus make your way to the front apostle i'm unsure if i'm saved or not come you can join them and have the assurance of salvation right here right now right here right now right here right now god bless you god bless you god bless you hallelujah thank you so very much ladies and gentlemen for your bold decision the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away i salute your courage you are standing before jesus the son of the living god may i please request that you lift your right hand as a sign of surrender high above your head and say this after me as loud and as clear as you can say lord jesus lord jesus one more time say lord jesus lord jesus tonight tonight i have heard your word i have heard your word i declare i declare that i love you that i love with you. all my heart with all my heart i believe i believe that you are the son of god that you are the son of i god. believe i believe that you died for my sin that you died for my i sin. believe i believe that you rose again that you rose for, my justification. for my justification right now, right now I, receive jesus I receive jesus into my heart, into my heart as, my savior, as my savior my lord, my lord and, my king. and my king i declare, I declare that the power of power sin satan hell, hell and, the grave and the grave is broken over my life over from my tonight life. i am a child of god child i go forward ever I go forward and ever. backward never backward amen never. keep your hands lifted father we thank you because your word declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away by the authority of your word and upon their confession of faith we declare their sins forgiven in jesus name we call you bona fide recipients of the life of God, the empowerment to live a victorious Christian life we release upon you right now. We call you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and you go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, may I request that you please move to my right my left that will be your right there are counselors who will have a word with you very very quickly and then you will be back to your seat let's give them a big big god bless you thank you hallelujah reverend sam thank you thank you sincerely thank you the transforming church may god bless you happy 2024 hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son Attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words, let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you